This video is sponsored by Bayi.jp. Sign up for Bayi using the link in my description. It's free, it helps the channel, and you get 2,000 yen of free shopping money. Bayi is a site you can use to purchase things from Japan. We're talking exclusives, hard to find things, and more. You can use Bayi to bid on auctions, to buy from countless online shops. Bayi handles language barriers, currency conversions, basically everything. You just shop and buy the things you want, like I do. I use Bayi maybe too much. And again, you get free money just for signing up. If you're a collector, if you're looking for a holy grail, if you're tired of paying markup prices to buy Japanese things, then sign up using the link below. Thank you, Bayi, for sponsoring this video. Flight time! Yeah! Much has changed since the last time I talked about these Godzilla Kong the New Empire figures from Playmates. For one, we all got to actually see the movie. In fact, at this point, we all own it. Still, a second wave of figures has been trickling into Walmarts and Targets across the country. And I mean trickling! But let's see what they got. First up is Mega Heat Ray Godzilla. He's 13 inches high. He's got lights and sounds, and he shoots mists from his mouth. Very similar to the Jada RC toy I reviewed this year. Titans collide in epic battle. Godzilla, king of the monsters. Every time we hear from this guy, his voice is more modulated. Sounds the challenge. And ah, his misting yes! 13 inch Mega Heat Ray Godzilla. Did he just say Godzilla in the year 2024? 13 inch Mega Heat Ray Godzilla. He did! He just said Godzilla! To go with this figure is the 13 inch Mega Punching Kong. He's also got lights and sounds and this punching gimmick. I didn't buy these toys, but I did run into them at Target near all these other random things. What's cool is I could try them right here. Let's just hit this giant button. <laughs> Godzilla's got a couple of sounds, either that or his battery's dying. I grabbed the Battle Roar Godzilla to show you the size difference. Let's hear our boy Kong. You can't really get that punch effect when he's still in the packaging. I can't even turn him around to look at that ass. I should just do this going forward. I should just go to Target and film the Playtime episodes there. Now I did basically get every other figure, so quickly let's revisit the giant figures from Wave 1. And we got Godzilla, Kong, and Scar King. But we didn't get a giant Shimo, even though she had a standard sized toy. Well, she's late to the party, but she's here. We can finally complete the third act tag team fight. How cool is this? Like the others, Shimo is basically just scaled up, but she does have some differences. Uh, the big one being here in the jaw, it's a different hinge to open and close it. You can't flap it all the way down like you can on the standard size toy. But the important thing is she still has that wild range of articulation in her arms. Stop right there! I gotta know right now! She's got leg articulation. The ankles all turn. And a tail that can go basically anywhere. I'm very excited for the Giant Shimo also because Giant Shimo scales pretty okay with the standard figures. If you wanted to have some scaling closer to the movie, you can put the big Shimo in with these guys. I think you can have a lot of fun with that. You know, a similar thing happened with the Battle Roar figures. In the last video, I showed you Battle Roar Godzilla, Kong, and Scar King. Well, Shimo was late to that party, too. Let's plan a birthday dance. Math class is tough. Nah, I'm kidding. Here's the real roar. That's a roar. That's Chewbacca. Tail can move, all four legs move, and the ankles move, too. Now the tag team is complete for the battle roaring figures as well. And here are the three Shimo sizes currently available. She comes in Yi, not so ye, and freaking huge! Wave 1 had a lot of variations of Godzilla. They have his first form, and then all these versions of Pank. But they missed what was in between in the movie. They missed bleh. This is Energized Godzilla. Energized Godzilla is a repaint of the standard Godzilla. He's even got the outline of the battle damage gimmick on his chest, although you can't remove it here, so now it's just one big confusing distraction. Now you know I love my translucent blues, so of course I dig the dorsal plates. But the rest of the toy is just kinda meh in my opinion. 
His face, hands, and feet are different colors than his body, and especially with the feet, it is an abrupt color change. It looks like he's wearing mittens and socks. I don't think the body colors are that bad, all things considered. I just find these color changes so unattractive. He comes with a plane. It's a plane. <laughs> Can't have a new Godzilla without a new Kong! This is Kong Preglove with Battle Axe, and I'm really glad we finally have a Battle Axe at this scale. Believe it or not, this is not a lazy repackaging of the Kong from the Godzilla vs. Kong line. I mean, look, he's got more battle scars, come on. But seriously, kudos to Playmates for improving on Kong. And even though they reused a lot of the same body from the new Empire Kong, they at least gave us a different head sculpt. And to be honest, I prefer the close mouth version. And I already spoke at length on how much I love this mold last time, so let's just move on for- Oh, they should do one with his arm all frozen! That'd be a good figure. All right, enough with these same characters over and over. Here's something new. I was very surprised to hear Tiamat got a figure, and viewer, would you believe me if I said she's pretty cool? Definitely Twisty Wormy, which is awesome. Here she is, just happy to be here. Don't take my pank! Oh, oh, I hope nobody comes into my home and steals the color pank! And we got articulation in the tail, all of the legs, body semi here, and here, and here, and the head can swivel around and the jaw can open and close. Not bad, not bad at all. Tiamat scales decent with Godzilla, and you can twist her all around him and have the two really go at it. Oh, and she comes with a black submarine. Yippee. And that's all the characters, right? But it's not, because Playmates actually released Mothra. She's been real hard to find for a lot of people. And for some of you, this might be the first time you're finding out she exists. And it's a shame, because I really like this Mothra figure. Her articulation is all in the wings. There are four sections you can individually move up and down to position her wings any way you like. The hinges are nice, but you're probably not going to get like a perfectly symmetrical look here. And the wings might come with some very normal warp as well. Another issue is the design on the wings. They're stickers, which is fine, but mine came with some areas of sticker wrinkling. And there's even a little bit of peeling going on over here. You probably won't get her to stand on her own either. Oh, and get this! Her accessory is Jaya! Yeah, this little fully painted figurine is Jaya! Officially making this the third MonsterVerse human character to get a figure. How nuts is that? That's some wacky scaling. Jaya scales better with the Giant Mothra! Yes, this is an awesome figure! Giant Mothra comes with a stand she can easily attach to for display and it works like a dream. She's got the same wing movements as the small version, but unlike her small version, this one's got limb articulation in four spots. Also, when you move these wings, there's sort of a clicking. It feels more heavy duty. You can change her entire look just by how far up or down you set her wings. Her wings are stickers again, but these didn't come so worn looking right out of the box. It is so cool to have a good legendary Mothra figure. I'm so frustrated that she's not showing up in more stores, because if you like these Playmates figures, you will absolutely love the Mothra. But don't let my endorsement let those clowns on eBay drive the price up on you. These prices are absurd. Okay, one more from the second wave that we need to discuss are the two Titan figures, Titan Godzilla and Titan Kong. These are 23 inches high making them the largest Godzilla and Kong toys we've seen in America. Playmates seriously wanted to give us these two characters in every scale possible. These guys don't light up or make sounds or anything, they're just big. Too big for my house, so I'm gonna pass on these guys and wait to get a sudden urge to have them when they're five times the price. And I was all ready to wrap this video and then this started appearing in targets, the ultimate Titan battle. It's a pack with five monsters in repaints and the accessories included with their individual releases. What a quick and easy way to get the main monsters if you don't already have them. I'm only going by pictures, but I'm not a fan of most of these paint jobs. Although supposedly the Godzilla is more screen accurate. Figures are literally dropping as I make this video. Now there's a figure of the Drowned Viper and it looks amazing. Like I, I can't wait to get my hands on that. And there's a figure of One-Eye, one of Scar King's soldiers. These just started appearing in some Walmarts, which means they'll get to my Walmart in late 2025. And then on the backs of these figures, real feel Godzilla and Kong? So I guess they feel all leathery and flocked? How many 
many gimmicks are these two monsters gonna get? What's next? Scuba diving Godzilla and Kong? What do you think they should make? What's your favorite of what they've made so far? I feel like they really nailed all the monkeys and Mothra. It's just Godzilla that's been kinda meh. Let me know your thoughts below. Until next time.